I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll apply the technique of partial fractions to find integral of rational function. So we need to integrate 5x minus 1 divided by x squared minus 1. Now as you can see the denominator here could be factored. So first important thing is denominator should be in a position to be factored. Second we also observe that this is a proper rational function since the degree of denominator is higher, right? So we could write this is as 5x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 times x minus 1 d of x, right? So that is how we should first factor the denominator and then the next step is partial factor. Now, uh, the thing is, what I said just now was that it is a proper rational function degree of denominator is higher so what you don't have to do is divide numerator by denominator in case you get examples which are which have higher degree in the numerator the first step will be to divide the numerator by the denominator and then write it as two components uh, a function plus a rational function that's the whole idea a polynomial function plus a rational function okay now let's continue so what we will do here is, now we'll learn the technique of partial fractions. So uh, let me just demarcate some space here and then we will work on this side. So what we have here is 5x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 times x minus 1. We could always write this as a over x plus 1 plus b over x minus 1, okay? So if I take common denominator of x plus 1 times x minus 1, I get a times x minus 1 plus b times x plus 1, right? So if I expand this, I get ax minus a plus bx plus b, right? What we can do at this stage is, let me rewrite this, 5x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 times x minus 1. So at this stage, what you can see is that if I divide both sides by x plus 1, x minus 1, they have same denominators, then what we can do is we can write this equation as 5x minus 1 equals to both numerators, correct? That's what we will do. Now, we can take x common so we get a plus b x common and then we have minus and then we get a minus b right and on this side we have 5x minus 1 now if you compare the coefficients of x which is a plus b it should be equal to 5 so comparing coefficients that is to say a plus b should be equal to 5 and uh, a minus b should be equal to 1, right? This is minus in between anyway, so that should be equal to 1. That gives us two different equations. So the first equation which we get is uh, 5 equals to a plus b and the second one is 1 equals to a minus b, right? So we have these two equations, equation 1 and let's say equation 2, right? Now if I add these two equations, that is to say 1 plus equation 2. If you add them up, what do you get? 5 plus 1 is 6, we get 6 equals to a plus a is 2a, right? So that means 3 is equals to a, right? If I subtract equations, that is to do 1 minus 2, if I do that, in that case, 5 minus 1 is 4, and a minus a is 0, b minus minus b is 2b, right? And so I get b as equals to 2. Since I have a as 3, right, and b as 2, I could write this rational function in that form. And this process is called partial fractions. Do you get an idea, right? So, so I'm replacing now my integral by this function. So now it becomes, instead of a, I'm going to write, 3. So we have this is 3 over x plus 1 and then b is 2, right? So plus 2 over x minus 1 dx. Do you get an idea? So 
So that is what we did. So I hope uh, you can correlate. So what we have here is the value of A as 3, which you substituted here, right? Do you see that part? Similarly, we had the value of B, which is 2, right? This is B, and which we substituted here. So we could write this integrate as partial fractions, right? This method is called partial factoring, and that is partial fractions, and that is what helps us to find the integral. Now it is kind of very simple, you know, it is ln. So, so we could just integrate it. If you want, at this stage, you could do substitution, u equals to x plus 1 and things like that. I mean, separately you could do it, but I think by now you have a lot of practice. So let me rewrite this. Okay, so we have 3 over x plus 1 d of x plus integral of 2 over x minus 1 d of x. And what is the integral of this? It is ln absolute value of x plus 1 times 3, right? And this one is 2 times ln absolute value of x minus 1, right? And then a constant c. Do you get an idea? So that is how you can find the integral of these functions. Some of you may use substitution saying x plus 1 equals to u and then dx equals to du. I'm just doing the first part. And therefore integral of uh, this is 3 and this is over u, right? And dx is du. So this becomes du. And then integral of this will be 3 times ln u. Do you see that? Similarly, you could do the other part also, where you may say, do it separately, right? So for the other part, you could say let w equals to x minus 1, dw equals to dx. So you could do integral of 2 over w, dw, right? And that is equals to 2 times ln w, and then add c. And then replace u and v by the functions, right? So clearly, we have our answer, which is like this. Now, what you can do is, you can actually combine them. Correct? So let's combine them. So we have ln, an absolute value of x plus 1 q, plus ln, absolute value of x minus 1 square, plus c, right? And these can be combined. Plus means it's a product, right? So you could write this as ln x plus 1 q times x minus 1 square, right? So, so all this plus c, right? So you could simplify and give that as your answer also, right? But anyway, uh, both are kind of correct. You could stop here also. That is fine. Or here, that's your wish. You could do that. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope in this video, you understand how to do partial fractions of a, a rational function and using, you know, the technique of doing this, which you learn from this side, we can easily find the integral of the given function. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos and put some likes if you like. Thank you and all the best.